strategy, Kings for Queens, that's JS. We're going to start with another fantastic show, episode 41. Let's get this thing started today. We have a fantastic topic. Today's topic is when men talk bad about women. It's part of the To Tell the Truth and Nothing But the Truth series. And so we are going to go straight into it and have a few discussions about what men are doing, why they're doing it, what are they saying, what would cause a man to do that. Is this normal behavior? Is this unusual? All that good stuff. As you know, we've been doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we got who are our superheroes. We have the Council of Dayton. We're both still doing those series, but we decided to stop for a second and do a little bit on just men's, men's thinking, men's talk. And so this topic always, come, always comes up on social media. Why are all these men talking bad about women? So I'll have to go ahead and I'll have a couple of discussions about it. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The first question that we have, are you ready? These questions yeah. are not going to be easy today. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Question number one. In this segment, we call it the why segment. Okay. Why are men talking bad about women more and more? Hmm. Why are they talking more about women? Um, bad, um, well, I'm not, you know, you might have some exceptions. We got a lot of assholes out here that, you know, just want to put somebody down. But some of it might just be men who's been through something or is going through something with a woman um, or some women. And that's just how they express themselves. But, you know, um, you know, it, it just depends, man. I, I have my days. I don't put down all of them. You understand what I'm saying? It might be... <laughs> It might be a special one, you know what I mean? So, so you know, but you know, it's crazy. I was looking on, um, I was looking at videos last night, um, and I was just like, damn, you know, I was surprised to see uh, there's a new video by YG and Blueface and Tiger, right? And it was called Bop, right? Okay. And it's calling women Bops, right? And I, I was just watching the video, and I'm like, damn, this is some disrespectful shit. And I'm just like, man, you know, me having a daughter and a mother and a sister, and, you know, just you just watching this shit, you're like, damn, this this is some really disrespectful shit. But, um, but you know, I can't stop liking that shit. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Which one? So, I have a couple of uh, theories. Mm -hmm. Theory number one is. I don't think men are talking about women more. I think they're talking about them more, more publicly. So it used to not be cool to do that. Now it's like cool, but you mean like on social media and stuff? Yeah. So now you have a situation where, okay, so we grew up on hip hop. Hip hop was about promoting black people, and then NWA came. Out. Now I'm not blaming NWA for this, but then came all these other groups of hardcore rappers, and they had nothing good to say. So then you go, you take that account. But then you got to go even more further back. You have black exploitation movies. Those movies had a do with four, five, six, seven more chicks, and that was considered cool. Uh, and then you just put on top of that the fact that we're probably four or five generations in of men being raised by their mothers. So you would think that would make a man say, oh, because of my mom raising me, I'm going to treat all women well. It actually does not necessarily work that way. A woman has to make sure she instills respect for other women into your son. If you don't do that, He's going to find it from somewhere else. And everybody else got something bad to say. Hip-hop, television, movies, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what, though? A lot of times, women are, are problems. Um, because a lot of women, they, well, have, they have sons, and they tell their sons, you're not married to her. You can date as many women as you want to. You know what I mean? I've well, this is part of what I'm talking yeah, about. It's still yeah. in that kind of... Um, yeah. Instilling that kind of respect. Yeah, even women say, "Oh, my son, he gonna be a little pimp." How many times have you heard that? I remember one day, 
um, I was seeing a father. So kids lived with me, and I went on like three dates in a week, and the kids were asking me some questions about him. So I started talking. My and my daughter was like, "Oh, my daddy's a pimp." Oh. So I looked at her like. This, no, 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 his daddy no. is not a pimp. No, this is not good. He's a player. So I had to rethink some things. Yeah. And um, not that I didn't teach my son respect, but I, kind of, I probably could have did a better job of doing that. I just really didn't think of the negative connotations of music that kids were listening to. The music I had listened to, some of the thoughts that went to some things. My son had a couple issues with some teachers because the teachers did him dirty. And I had to make the teachers apologize because they were tripping. So you have all that growing up, and then you have these dudes that decided that because there's not as many good men out there, they're all of a sudden good men. So they feel entitled, and they're frustrated because they're like, well, I got a job, got a 401k, got a house and a car. Why does not want someone to talk about me? I'm a good guy. I don't go to jail. I don't sell drugs. These women ain't shit because they want that dude, and they don't want me. They don't want you either. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Because you got a job in a house. Congratulations. You should have a job in a house. That's not. Why can't somebody. Why don't women want average dudes? You don't want an average woman. So, what the hell are you talking about? So, you have a whole plethora of things happening at the same time. But the number one is that social media is out and men are more acceptable. At doing this kind of thing, so it's almost like bitch mess. I'm gonna go on social media. Bam, bam, bam. So, question two. Make sure you talk up, though. You need to hear all this crazy talking about the tellers, cause it, it's already sounding crazy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it might be crazy to some people. <laughs> it's just, it's just knowledge but to others. I'll just make sure you, know? you, you, you gotta try getting the yells. Yeah. Give me yells. It's just knowledge to others. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're on a yell, I guarantee we can hear you. So, are we exaggerating or is it getting worse? Um, I say we exaggerate. I wouldn't. I don't know if it's getting worse. I say it's getting better. You know what I mean? I say it's getting better. But getting better. I say it's getting better. You know what I mean? I think. It's, I think people are actually watching their mouth more than they used to. Um, so what? Yeah. I really do. How? Really, I think people are watching their mouth more than they used to. Are you watching TV, brother? But at the same time, you cannot, you cannot have this. You gotta know, a woman can make a man do anything she wants him to do. Remember that. And, and the stuff that's out here, a woman can quickly shut it down. Quickly, yo. They can quickly shut it down. There's some dumbass men out here, bro. You know what I mean? You know, we just need to, we need some unity, you know what I mean? We need some unity. Women all together, but I think it's better than it used to be. Wow. I think it's better. I will say, I don't think it's getting worse. I think it's getting more public. There's always been men that have been willing to talk poorly about women. It's just that it hasn't always been accepted. You know, we get in a circle. Of brothers and one dude's talking bad about women. We'll look at him like, man, you a mark. What the hell are you talking about? You're retarded ass. No one want to talk your ass because you smell like feet. That's the fucking problem with you. That's how he would go off on a dude. But guess what? Women do it too. They do it too. I'm sorry. If you get women in the circle, your ass will, your ass will be. <laughs> they were talking about your ass so bad. Don't get it twisted. It, it goes okay, both I, ways. Okay, so, so it goes know, both ways. It goes both ways. You know what I mean? So that's, that's not, not the question. I, question. I, I, know. I just want to let women know that they, they know they do the same thing. So, you know, they don't so, do it on this scale. You know, but they, they ain't on public media, social media, talking about every single. You know, it's. I mean, I'm surprised by yeah. how open men are just talking bad about. Women. I'm like, really. I mean, some, give me some examples. Some examples? Yes. Like what you've seen. Social media wise. Dude gets on social media, just fuck up with his girlfriend, talks about how our house is trash, cooking's bad, uh, gives out personal information about that woman, uh, things that she's only shared with him. 
take pictures, so post he, pictures. So he's pissed off that she don't. And then they tie that into all their other relationships. And then they start talking about women in general. Well, he's probably somebody that did when I used to have a girlfriend. Um, okay. You know, so he, he's hurt. You know, he's hurt. I'm sure after after that shit's done, he's stupid. He, he wish he wouldn't have done it. You know what I mean? I no, know. they still go. They go two, three years deep. But, you know, and, and you know, I think that just goes on the thing of, of just hurt people. Um, but because I've seen women do the same thing, try to ruin a man's life. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't, so that's what I just say. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's the same. I mean, I think it's getting better these days, but he's just, a, that's just a dumbass dude. You know what I mean? That's just a dumbass dude. He should know better than that. He must not know that she got brothers or a father or something. Um, but, you know. Definitely not getting better. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. Uh, and then the other aspect about this is, mm-hmm. like I said, it's not necessarily getting worse, but because it's more public, mm-hmm. men understand that it causes yeah. a reaction for women. Because women are the ones that yeah. will take a phone, a text, call up all their yeah. other female friends and say, what does he mean by this? Because they want to be clear. So... When a man talks bad about a woman, he knows that she might actually do the same thing. And so now you have a situation where you are messing with the inner core of women. So then you go on this little dating to to talk to women and they have all of these examples of men that are just purposely saying things to cut them down, to talk poorly about them, to treat them like crap. And so so they can ha- so they can lower their self-esteem because at the end of the day, the man's going to lose some esteem, but he wants to make sure everybody feels his pain, which is retarded, but men didn't always just do it like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they talk, you ain't talk to their friends, be like, hey, man, you know what's up, man? It's crazy, but, you know, now you go on social media. Social media can reach millions of people. Technically billions, but we'll just go into the billions. Is gossip normal for me? Yes. Um, they just don't call it gossip. Uh, you know what I mean? Men don't want to be known as gossiping. You, you know what I mean? But, you know, we do it every day. Like, hey, you heard about what's her name right now? You know, like, no, what happened? Man, this is what happened. You know, we do it every day, but we just don't call it gossip. It's just just men talking. You know what I mean? It's just men talking. talking. Men talking. That's all it is. That's all it is. Men talking. talking. So, um, <laughs> we don't spread everybody's business um, like, uh, like like most women probably do. Some women like, but we don't just be like, oh, and so and you know, I'm that is, you know, we don't go that far. We just go, hey, you heard about some of yourself, you know, we ain't gonna give you the run down the middle of that person. Hmm. Um, I think I would say no, men don't gossip. But uh, that's why we are so bad at it, because we do gossip. We just don't do a very good job. And men use the gossip to tear down people. They don't necessarily, I mean, we'll have a conversation about somebody, but gossiping, that's not our MO. It's, it's really more of a, a situation where you're trying to um, say something about somebody, like, you check this out. You know, old girl? Man, I saw her one day, and her her string of her tampons hanging out. Ha, 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 you know that kind of stuff, which um, so actually that is, that is a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem, it but a problem. I mean, it's yeah, it's said to tear So yeah. women gossip, it may or may not be said to tear down. They try to try to get clarity. Women women are key on trying to. Clarity. If you don't stop that shit, they know we're trying to get all clarity. Women be breaking the bones <laughs> down. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what conversations you been listening to? These motherfuckers, it's, it's brutal. They could be brutal. You know what I mean? They could be brutal. Man, you listen, hey, you hear some conversations with some women sometimes? You'll be like, well, I'm glad they ain't talking about me like that. Shit. You know what I mean? That shit, I hurt your feelings. Now, that is true. That hurt your feelings, boy. That is true. Yeah. That does happen. Um, 
you be like, whoa, like, yo, I thought she said she thought you said she loved him. Yeah, oh no, that's her man. Like she said, what about? I'm like, oh man, yeah. But no, it, I think it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Okay, so I had a, yeah. that was a very important text. Um, so, um, question number four. Yeah. And yes, question number four. Um, yeah. What are men saying when women aren't around? Um, everything. They're saying everything. Anything you think about. Typically, you know, a woman walks by and we'll talk about how she looks. Um, that's just that's standard, standard practice. No matter whether you're married or not, like, did you see that? Did you see that? She's she mad. She mad. We'll talk about it. And depending on how serious we are about relationships, we'll be like, man, if I was, I would do this and that. If we're really serious about our relationship, we'll be like, yeah, you know, she looked good, she looked good. Or if we know our girl's close, like, oh, she all right? You know, so, but we, we talk about everything. So, question number five. What do men say to men that talk shit? In other words, talk bad about women. Um, nothing. You just listen. I mean, a lot of times we don't, you know, you know so we, we listen. You know what we gonna, what we gonna say? I don't know what that man has been through, so I just hear him out. You know what I mean? I hear him out. He might be talking bad about it. Like, you know, she, man, she might have did something. I don't know. I'm gonna let him get his peace out. You know what I mean? Let him get his peace out. You never know. You know, he might, he might need you. You know what I mean? For hear that, so you know. We all talk shit. I don't like to talk shit. You know what I mean? But that don't mean I'm putting a woman down when I'm telling you I'm talking shit. Not at all. So I would say men usually say nothing, but we will we'll call a dude out when he's talking stupid. Like, for example, let's say he's got a good woman and he's, he's, he's down here. I was like, dude, yeah, yeah. you clown. That woman yeah. is amazing. You're retarded. Are you stupid? You feel it's going to off or be saying things like he did this now, like whatever, dude. You know, you know, the only thing you did was pay that woman to have sex with you <laughs> and start cracking up, laughing. We'll be going in on folks, but usually we don't say nothing because um, nine times out of ten, after we hear a story like oh, she did do something crazy, you know? and she's still a good woman though. I mean, you know, but and most of the time know. when we talk shit, we talk shit, but that don't mean we go on though. We just talk shit and be like, yo, like, man. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, man, I can't believe she did that shit. Oh, dumbass. You might say that, but you ain't going to win. You just, you need to express this to somebody. And so that's a lot of times we just speak to express it. And a lot of times men say things like that to sound, you know, sound cool with the fellas. Like, they ain't no punks. So they, they, you know, bitch, man, she got my fucking nerves. They'll do that. But in reality, let me go home. Okay, sweet peaches. <laughs> <laughs> talking. Or they might really mean that. They might be talking about fucking nerves. <laughs> well, yeah, they might be mean that too. But they might mean that. You know, so you there's a lot going know. on when yeah. um, a man starts talking about women. So yeah. we don't usually say anything until we start listening to the story and hearing, uh, what are you talking about, dude? What? what? And then we start going off. Right? Yeah, we usually don't say nothing. Because, you know, technically, to some degree, it's not our business. That's the first reason. The other reason is. Um, what they're saying may have a lot of validity to what they're saying. They're just using a poor representation of the language that doesn't maybe show as respect as he probably should to it. So we just take it all in consideration and keep moving. So, segment two. This is where we talk about who. Who are we talking about? So, do all men talk bad about women? Yes. Yes, all men talk about women. Sometimes, wow. show me a man that has a talk about Well, you might, you might be one of our gay brothers, but, <laughs> but show me a man. No, gay brothers are way worse. Yeah, show me a man that doesn't say nothing bad about women. Uh, um, we all do it. I mean, it's part of life. You know what I mean? That's like showing me a woman that hasn't said nothing bad about a man. Maybe we need a definition about bad about women. 
Yeah, yeah, probably so. Like, purposely trying to say things that belittle her or make her look bad. Nah, nah, nah. So if that's the I'm definition, is your answer still yes? Nah, I'm going to do that. Because, I mean, I mean, I could probably say when I was in my, you know, when I was a teenager, 20s, you might have did that more. But as you get to your older man, older person, you don't do shit like that. It's, it's stupid. Well, that's how it's supposed to be, but yeah, it's these older men are chiming out. So my, my question, my answer is not even close. Um, but it does seem like it's more because you're hearing it more now. It's more public. It's, it's more, people are more relaxed. We live in this society today where people can say whatever they want. Now, sometimes they get in trouble. A lot of times they don't. It doesn't stop people from getting elected. It doesn't stop folks from getting a job. It doesn't stop folks from you know, running for politics. Uh, people, people can physically abuse someone and get elected. So, so to say so it seems like nothing to a lot of people and they go in hand. You see you see the videos and just on like races and all kinds of stuff. So for someone to talk bad about a woman that's nothing to them. Um, shouldn't be that way. But to say that all men do it, that's not even close. It, I would say I would say they're probably approaching like 30, 40 percent though. I mean it, it's definitely up there. You say 50? 50? Okay. So where is this done? Where is people talking bad about women? Barbershops. School, work, hmm. block, uh, friend's house, everywhere. Strip club, social media. Make sure you get the yellow too. Yeah, uh, on the street, <laughs> in the car. Uh, you said everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, there's no place that it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? No place that it doesn't happen. So. Man, church. Talk. Bad about women. In the church. <laughs> where women can see it the most. So, a lot of guys that take the time to purposely ridicule and belittle women, they want women around. Because they want an impact. They want an effect. They want it to be like, uh, they want to go in there with the Thanos. And be like, yeah, well, I got five rings, and this is why. This woman ain't shit. It's never been shit. It's never going to be shit. That's how they're doing it. So, it's different at the barbershop. So they may talk bad about somebody. To all they you, know. To all you women that don't know who Thanos is or those five rings. Uh, it's, <laughs> so in the movie just, Avengers, just, uh, the, the evil character, the, the one that got all of the That could have looked crazy. Got all all the yeah, rings. Yeah. He's like, Thanos, oh, this ring and everything. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> they saw the movie. <laughs> So, anywho, before I was really interrupted, yeah. for an important point, yeah. though, um, wasn't really really, but yeah. anyways, so my, my point is, men who do this as a practice, do it in front of women for the show. And that's what they're trying to do. They want, they, they want the women that hurt them to see it. They want all the women that they're friends with to see it. They want the women around them to see it. And they want the support of the men who feel the same way. You're not going to the barbershop and talking crazy, crazy about somebody. Now, you may start it, but when you start getting checked, then you're going to be like, okay, unless dudes ain't saying nothing. Now, if it's a group of folks that all know each other, that dude's going to get checked. Because you're going to be like, man, you always have problems with it. Maybe you're the problem or whatever. Like every woman, every woman, every woman call you this. Okay, whatever. So, yeah. What makes a man do this? Uh, not getting on play, uh, being hurt, uh, just, just being a wacky ass dude, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? A lot of dudes who may not get no play or whatever, they start, you know, they might go on these little rants talking about them. That's all. That's what I would say. That's what you would say? Yes. So, hurt, insecurity, low self-esteem, or he doesn't think highly of them. So, he already thinks they're second-class citizens and they're supposed to be used. Like, you get that a lot from folks that, that you know, say, women well, need to be submissive, so therefore, you know, they're under my rules, so therefore they should be listening to me, and they're not. So they start getting, they start going ham, 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 and the reality is they don't understand what that exactly means. And so, uh, it's usually a combination of all four of those things, but the main ones being hurt, insecurity, low self-esteem, and lack of respect. 
it's hard to talk bad about somebody who you highly value and respect. Hear me out on that. So when anybody makes a decision to go ham on somebody, I mean completely talk poorly about somebody without no like without no like guilt. That person never had respect for you. So you can't take that person back. You can't be like, you know what, you know, I'm sorry I didn't mean that. That dude meant every single damn word he said. So consider, consider that. Why attack women on social media? Um, because you know they'll see it. They'll see it. And there it is. So I said it makes no sense to me, but if you wanted to hurt a bunch of women at the same time, that's how you do it. Put it right there on your post. All your female friends are going to see it. And they're going to chime in. A lot of them take that particular post and put it on their page. This dude said this. And so now, now they're getting shares. Now people are seeing it on Instagram. Now people are seeing it on Twitter. So that's kind of how it goes. It's like bam, 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 bam. So this one little post of this dude talking to you, retarded, gets spread everywhere. Because women are like, I can't believe this person said this. And this is kind of guy we're dealing with in 2019 in this city, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, Yes and no. You do have dudes like this, but you also have the good ones. The good ones ain't gonna talk like this, so that's why you're not posting their stuff. You're, all, you're focused in on these four or five Negroes that have nothing good to say. And it's proper. And I say Negroes, but really, it's black, white, Asian, Hispanic. It's across the board, really. Yeah, I was about to say something about that. But yeah. You were? I mean, I've been waiting. You've been, you've been combative. These aren't all Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's not all Negroes. It's, it's not all Negroes. This, this is strict. It's not all Negroes. <laughs> okay, so the last question, question number five. What is the advantage for men to talk bad about women? Uh, make them feel better about themselves. Feel better about themselves and about putting somebody else down. So here's the funny thing. It's not funny, but this is neat. this is what needs to be considered. So they get to talk to more women by doing this. I know that sounds crazy, but women are chiming in on that particular post, whether it be negative or not. Now they've created a bridge of familiarity, and they have a conversation. And then the other thing that it does is it pinpoints the women who have low self-esteem. So now you know, okay, this woman has good self-esteem, this woman does. This woman chimed in and she kind of agrees with me. I can talk to her. Bam. Now this is assuming that what he's saying is really horrific. Sometimes when we post somebody and someone says something, I'm like, well, he didn't like down her. He just said that she did this, which is not necessarily downing, but it's, it's negative on her that she did that. But, in general, now, men who do this, they have an agenda. The agenda is some kind of a teardown, and, some, and he's doing the step on somebody to get himself back up. Again. That's pretty much what he's doing. All right, man, this is where you shine. All right, uh, dear JS. All right, let's do it. Dear JS, I wanted to be married by the age of 30 and start a family. I'm currently 29 and I don't understand why men my age don't want to settle down. Am I not being realistic? Um, no, you're not being realistic. I mean, just because you're 29 don't mean somebody's supposed to run to your door and knock you down. If you haven't built relationships with people up until this point, it's getting there. Um, it might be the people that you were picking and, you know, and I wouldn't go into it thinking that I'm trying to Settle down with every person that I meet. So, no, I wouldn't say you're being realistic. You know, forget about your age. You know what I mean? I wanted to be a millionaire by the time I was 25. That shit didn't happen. But, you know what I mean? It is what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to kill myself about it. So, I'm being realistic. I can still be a millionaire at 45. So, let's make it happen. You know? What about you, bro? That's actually a good answer. I would say that it's great to have a goal. But you shouldn't set it in stone. Things happen, people change, things change, you change. Situations pop up. So 
the idea of the goal is not that you meet this deadline per se, but it's to put you in a direction where you want to go. Now, if you want to get married by 30, did you do the things, the due diligence to make that happen? Did you join groups that, that you're interested in? Did you meet people and get yourself in situations that allow for conversations to happen? Are you online dating? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? You, know, you got to do those kind of things if that's your actual goal. I don't think it's the greatest goal to have. Just I want to be married by such and such age. It is what it is. That's just my opinion. But I do think that you need to consider what you did to get to this point. If you're not accomplishing your goal, like you should always do with every goal, and figure out what you can do to change, make it more likely to happen. All right. All right. Uh, dear JS, do you think the time will come when women like Megan Thee Stallion become the norm, and women is and have as many uh, women have as many sex partners as men? Um, mm. <laughs> norm. Um, <laughs> don't give me, don't give me on my. Uh, I, I would say there's women out there that's already having as many sex partners as men. They just don't talk about it. They uh they shave it down. Um, but that's not the norm. Though. Yeah. Um. I mean, unless they're in a porn movie, that's not the norm. People might say it's not the norm, but. Some women out there that be knocking them down. Um, so I was <laughs> that shit is already the norm. <laughs> that shit is already the norm. You know what I mean? You don't want it to be the norm. Of course we don't want that. We don't want to know. But um I say it's already the norm. You know what I mean? The point is is that they will be talking about it. You know what I mean? More men I mean are, are kind of vocal about it more than women are. But yeah, I don't. I would not say that's the norm, um, and I don't think it will ever be the norm. Now, I have noticed that a lot of sexual liberation materials kind of emphasize be free. There's no such thing as a body count kind of thing, and I and I, I actually agree with that. Body count is useless, but there's just so many women that care about, it. and men too. Men care about the body count. I don't. I mean, if you have five million people in your life. And I'm the family of one person. Uh, if everything isn't working in order <laughs> and everything's good, and you know, every you know, there's no issues because of the past, I'm good. Now, with that being said, the more people we get with, I mean, I have my issues because of the fact that my body count is probably higher than it's what it's supposed to be. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Uh, say, um, <laughs> ma- ma- imagine that, bro. Mm. I mean, so if, if you met a woman today and she sold you, she slept with over a hundred men. I've met a woman that slept over a hundred men. You dated for a while. Yeah. Did it didn't work out? It eventually didn't work out. Wow. We're just going different directions. It could have. Obviously, I was going different directions. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that. Though. Yeah, you man. might, you might think that's the case. Yeah. Man, if a woman is putting it down like that, and she, I mean, I mean it, it, it comes. You can sense. double your count just in college alone. I mean, yeah, yeah. But at this time, at this age that I am now, um, if I meet a woman, um, you do not want to know. Where she's at in Cowboys. We don't. I don't. I don't care. Well, a lot of men are definitely you, don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't think that's an issue. You keep I that mean, shit to yourself. At, um, at, the, at, at our age. Because if, if a woman, if I met a woman and she was the same age as me, and she said, I only slept with 10 people, i say, okay, that's cool, man. That's, that's real good. I would obviously know she's lying to me. But, um, you know, 10. I don't want maybe. none of that. I don't want you have to lie to me. You know what? Lie to I'm me. I'm not interested. Lie to me. No. Lie to me. I would rather you tell me 10 and be lying than you to tell me 150. So here's the thing. You tell me 10, I find out it's 150. You just lied to me. So it's, it's supposed to be up front. Let me do with the information. I'm going to do the same to you. 
and we're good. But I'm not gonna ask much about it count anyway. So maybe with that team. Oh, that's what's up. Hmm. You know what I mean? She's like, so women, well, you need to hear this because a lot of guys think like that. Yeah. I don't, but I have been told I am the exception to the rule. So that's why this guy is on the show because you need to hear different perspectives. Maybe with that team. This dude is team. Up. So 11, they're yeah. out. You're yeah. out at 11. No. You're out at 12. No, I'm not out at 12. 15, you're you out. Can, you can hit you can At the age of 45, you can only 45, have 10. You, you, can, you can hit me off with a nice... Um, Your number should be going up as you, you get can hit me. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It should be going up. But, but that's what I'm saying. I, mean, I know some women uh, that they still on 10, and they, and they was on 10 when I knew them at 20. You understand what I'm saying? So I know they, I know they 10, you know. I just don't, I'm not, yeah. I, you know, but, you all know. All that posturing. I'm not yeah, interested. You can hit That's a representative. Off. Exactly. But you can hit me off with a, a nice 30 right now, and I'll be like, all right. You know? So you're but, up to 30. But, but as a man, but as a man, you would still think about that. Like, damn, 30. You know what Why I mean? Why would you think about that? Because. You as, probably as a, quadrupled that number. Yeah. I've only slept with 10 people in my life. So. <laughs> So that's how I do it. You, you probably got three digits on you, know? Ten. You might be close to four. Ten? I've only had girlfriends. I've <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, only yeah. had girlfriends my whole life. Uh, so. so only ten, huh? Only ten. Actually, actually nine. Uh, and that's where you can stay at. <laughs> and no, and no, ten. The next one will be eleven. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. With all those lies, that's the end of our show today. Um, so thanks for watching Kings for Queens. We'll be back with another episode of Kings for Queens, Nothing But the Truth. This episode, we're going to talk about the raw truth about men. So we're going to get yes. into some interesting questions um, that have to do with men and how we think and what we're thinking about. Kind of get a little bit more theory into the thing so you can understand what men are talking about when you look at them like, what the hell? Are you talking about? Yes. So, and and I just want to add, and uh, our show today is sponsored by Book Hammers Casual, <laughs> um, and where you can get your finest pimp clothes uh, <laughs> and gaiters from. Uh, come to Book Hammers Casual. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah. Book Hammer, and then on top of that, you can look at the illustrious store that's behind us and see all the main things they're selling at this particular moment. So we're, our 50th episode is coming out real soon, October, and we're going to have a special show. So we're deciding, um, you, you got to finish your ad. So we're deciding. No, I was squishing my man at the table back there. Okay. <laughs> so we're deciding on how we're going to do that. We're going to do a party. Are we going to invite you to do a party? Are we going to have food for free? Probably not. We ain't got no budget like that, so don't even think nice. about it. Oh uh, no, bring your old me because we don't need no drunkard. So we're going to consider what we're going to need to do, but we want you to be a part of the 50th episode because you're the reason why we're here doing this in the first place. Thanks again for watching Kings for Queens. Stay tuned. We'll have information on our 50th, 50th episode. But in the meantime, leading up to our 50th episode, we have some great shows coming. So stay tuned. JS, Comic Strategy, Kings for Queens, out. So I'm gonna figure out what's going on. That's how the camera they didn't want to work. Yeah, right? the camera was like it's a robot. Yeah, it, it was crazy. It, it was a robot vision over there. I was like, okay. Okay, I'm trying to try to.